Oh. Yep. Great. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Taylor, Jeff, and Sean back in the, the fortress of solitude that is the Gentleman's Den. Or the uh, Cat Cafe. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the oh, ultimate cat cafe. Oh my god. Haven't you done a cat cafe, milady? No. I'm I highly to allergic one. to cats, so who was talking about going to a cat cafe? They have them. Um I don't know. It was only Jade and Jessica. Weren't they going or something? Or was yeah. that a dog one? Well, I I've been to a dog one. Oh. Yeah, I think she called me when she was done trying to bring home puppies. No. Isn't it like an adopt thing? Or no? It's yeah, when I was doing the fostering. We went it's up in Milwaukee. Oh god. Some brewery. No, the cat cafes are usually just an old woman that owns all of them. <laughs> she just opens her just doors. Re- rented yeah, out making of, coffee. Rented out a studio <laughs> making some coffee. I mean, look at this right now. No, they can't really, they see really can't see it. it. Listeners can't see it, but the listeners really can't <laughs> see it. Things are happening. <laughs> this is where women's stories come in handy. Yeah, all the description that we get. Yeah, full description, whether you want it or not. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, but it's usually the description of how they're feeling at the time, not the actual situation. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna learn what color shirts they were wearing, and the you gotta shoes. understand. I just got off the phone with my mother, and I was bloated, and I just <laughs> I, <couldn't, laughs> I was just having a really bad day. Who sounds like that? <laughs> That's all women. Sean oh, just described them. Oh, just okay. like when you say, Oh, there, it's in the fridge. I can't find it. For me. That's because that is what you sound like. <laughs> like a dumb caveman. <laughs> find the ketchup. So, I feel like so that easy t- a caveman can do it. <laughs> like, me. just know. Is my cup in your way? What cup? I what just way? picture, I just like picture that it, this has been going on since the beginning of time. Like some cave ladies, like, find find those two sticks we bang together to make a fire. And he's, he's looking in the cave. I don't see them. <laughs> and then she goes in there and finds him and beats his ass with, this, with oh. the rocks. It's right where I left him. It's right where I left him. Oh my god! Right in the know, stick closet. You know, it's been going on since forever. Yep. Right in the stick closet. No, that's when men were men, though. We just bonk you over the head, <laughs> <laughs> drag you back to our cave. Concussions. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew concussions were the the love language? <laughs> What's your love language? Concussions. <laughs> 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 Chloroform's oh, too expensive. Yeah. Now I just use a fucking yeah, club. back then. Now I just use a club. <laughs> it's, the ex- it's the exact... When I say I'm going to a club, it doesn't mean I'm going to a club. <laughs> You're going to get club. <laughs> Donk. Donk. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, I'm, I'm glad we, we've grown as a people. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works anymore. <laughs> no, society has grown in a ways. A little bit. <laughs> in some ways. A little bit. Uh, yeah, we still have that caveman mentality and cavewoman. You know? Yeah. Yep. Like when you're in not shaving sense. during the winter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens. It does. Well, it's just like, what's the point? I'm not wearing shorts. Nobody's going to see my hairy legs except for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you signed up for, buddy. Mm-hmm. Contracts. Yeah. Always read the fine print. <laughs> I missed that part. <laughs> legs, <Can't> even... <laughs> legs will be Wookiee style. <laughs> All, All winter. winter. <laughs> and being that we're in Wisconsin, so that's uh, nine months out of the year. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Keeps extending. That fucking hedgehog's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the groundhog. The, groundhog. <laughs> <laughs> the hedgehog's bullshit hedgehog. too. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Sonic. <laughs> Piece of shit. I don't. What, can we just stop with the gr- the groundhog already? 
Every time they pull it out of there, it just pisses all over the handler. <laughs> Every time. But why? I feel like that's something they would have done when they were still burning women. Like, <laughs> <laughs> She's a witch! <laughs> right? Oh, She's a witch. She does math. Kill her. Kill her. <laughs> she learned to read. Burn her. She's a witch. But you know, I put, they just pull this hedgehog out and they're like... It's not a hedgehog. It's more, it's more weeks of winter. It's not a hedgehog. I like to picture it. <laughs> I like to picture my groundhog as a hedgehog. And blue. <laughs> with some red sneakers on. <laughs> I, like to, I like to picture mine wearing a tuxedo t-shirt. But don't you think we're beyond the point of pulling out this fucking groundhog and are saying we, are six we more not weeks beyond the point of uh, daylight savings time? Yeah, that too. Yeah, but someone was explaining it to me, and it was making a lot of sense. Oh yeah, about the kids in the morning getting on the bus, and it's pretty much from what I understand, it's the insurance companies want it because a lot of people hit animals when it's dark in the morning for longer. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. This is the oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's the dumbest <laughs> fucking explanation I've ever heard. It's for the children. I don't know. I heard it had something to do with like Daylight the farmers. It's the farmers and uh, Wu Tang Clan. They're all for the children. <laughs> Wu Tang is for the children. <laughs> so what were you saying about the farmers? It's to regulate how much daylight's on the crops, kind of deal, mm. which makes no sense because. The sun's like out all the better. fucking time. I like mine better. Well, and I think they did it for the farmers like back in the day, and now tractors have lights. Yeah. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so. See them out there all Fuck the time now. at night. <laughs> Knowledge, guys. This is a learning channel. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the... You've already learned about the cavemen. <laughs> Welcome and to... now we've learned about the uh, Punxsutawney hedgehog. And... It's a fucking groundhog, man. <laughs> His is a hedgehog. It's that Ron Jeremy <laughs> hopping out of the box. <laughs> ah, shit. It's called out. It's just, yeah, some animals look pretty similar. Like, I don't know. What's the difference between a, you know, what's that other one? The platypus? This cat. What's <laughs> happening? Just pleasuring itself <laughs> in the middle of the table. Uh, should we go? The cat done. Jeff and Kayla's Cat Emporium. <laughs> you can go watch a kitty cat <laughs> lick its nether regions oh. and drink a cocktail. <laughs> Just sit here and, oh, that's a nice cat. <laughs> uh, limber. <laughs> Get in there nice and deep like. There's probably cat porn, right? <laughs> Ew. I don't want to know if there is. Uh, I'm out. I'm out on that I discussion. I don't want to know if there is. I tried explaining this to people. Whatever you thought of, it's been done. Yes. Yeah. Because there's sick people out there. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't. I, I know don't. there's furries. Yeah. Yeah, there are. There are. We should do one. Shitting in litter boxes. We should dress up. What would be your furry? <laughs> if I had to dress up. <laughs> yeah, as an animal. As what would be your furry? Uh, I don't know. Mine would be a hedgehog. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> I don't know. Normally in those masks, you don't. Six more weeks. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Maybe a uh, singers. I don't. I don't even know. I've never thought about it. What would I be? Sean. Sean's thought about it. What do you got? <laughs> Sean's thought about it. Clark the Cub. <laughs> <laughs> No pants on no already. Pants just on. Ready to bag. Dick <laughs> oh. <laughs> just Donald Duck it. <laughs> and I hate the Cubs. So that's what makes it funnier. Yeah. Well, the White Sox don't even. Do they have a mascot? Yeah, Southpaw. Southpaw. What is, what is that? I have no idea. <laughs> It's like the Philly fanatic. What the what the hell's the Philly fanatic? It was a thing with a nose and yeah, it looks like Puff the Magic <laughs> Nightmare. <Yeah. laughs> looks like an acid fever dream. <laughs> yes, I gotta look this up. Yeah, he's pretty wild, and he shoots those uh, streamer like the uh, oh. birthday party things out yeah. of his nostrils. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. He's got a lot going. I need to look that up after this. The Philly Fanatic, and then the worst one now is Gritty. Which one's that? Philadelphia Flyers mascot. Everybody's like, this is the <laughs> ugliest mascot ever. What is it? You can't I, describe it? It's a no. thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like, a thing. Like the Blackhawks have Tommy Hawk, which is a... A hawk. A hawk. An a black hawk. hawk. No, it's a dude in a suit. And you got Benny the Bull for the Bulls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got the gorilla in Phoenix. Yeah, the gorilla. That's a weird one. Just, I don't know. There's a dude in a gorilla costume. (laughs) Brings me back to Vegas. No, no, no. It's not even that good of a gorilla. It's just like. Oh. No, yeah. It's it's like like one of those shitty 80s movie (laughs) gorilla costumes. Oh. Like a porn gorilla. (laughs) (laughs) Like a low budget porn gorilla. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what a porn gorilla looks like, but uh well, porns are very low budget and like if they wanted to have uh porn... Like if you went to Walmart to buy your suit. Yes. Okay. Got it. Like just low budget porn gorilla. I don't know how else to describe it. You know, it's one step above the <laughs> the masks, the mm-hmm. plastic the plas- masks. I fucking yes. hated those as a kid. Can't see of them. They stunk like shit. <laughs> yeah. God awful. Huh. Scariest shit you'll ever see is the old pictures from the kids that had him in the yeah. 80s. Looking like children of the corn. <laughs> so good. Dude, the fucking, uh, when Easter Easter was happening, my mom was posting pictures. The Easter bunnies were Whoa. terrifying. They were bad. I feel like they made those costumes to see how far they could go before they made kids cry. Yeah, they're just laughing inside the suit. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till they yeah. fuckers see this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the Easter bunny was always evil and we just never knew it and we just... We softened them up. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe the Easter Bunny would come and give you rabies in your sleep if you were a bad <laughs> kid. Damn. Santa don't give you presents. The Easter Bunny comes yeah, and gives you rabies. <laughs> Watch out for that Thanksgiving turkey. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the one that takes your seed. The turkey? <laughs> Oh, no. Like a wild turkey. I just saw that clip from Saving Silverman. Mm-hmm. Stay away from women. They only do about your man seed. <laughs> <laughs> you, focus, you focus on sports. <laughs> if you need a release, this right here. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, never seen Andy. Saving Silverman? Oh. That's it's a, very good. It's a funny movie. Very I don't good think movie. I have. I'll have to watch it. But I may have. There's I a don't... lot going on. There's so much... Now with all the services, I just I really can't keep up. I think I've started four shows. I'm on like the third or second episode just been, on four shows. I've just binge watch them right through. I, I want what to. I'm watching them on. But then I I start one <laughs> with you, Kayla. You like hop on Hulu and, and then like, she oh, falls shit. asleep. So then yeah. I have to stop it. And then I started watching Fallout with the boys. So I only watch that when they're watched around. it all the way through. Yeah, it's good so far. I like it. I never played the game, so that's why I haven't I like either. It. Exactly. I'm sure the people who have, you know, balls deep into the game. Oh, they're shitting on it. It's like Game of Thrones. Like a lot of people who read the books. Were, yeah. You know, upset about it. But yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't watch the books, so I don't. You, you didn't watch. You, you, you didn't don't watch, watch books. <laughs> you, I read them. You can, you can watch the books. The words don't come out into your head, but you can you can sit and stare at it as long <laughs> as you want. when I open the page, I'm watching the book. <laughs> I can't read it without watching it. <laughs> Right? Am I wrong yes. here? No, you're right. You're... Sure, yep. Yeah, so, yeah, I watch books. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, uh, yeah, well, so you enjoyed it? Yeah, it so was. You didn't have any skin in the game? Yeah, like, I won't watch the Halo show. I never played, I wasn't a Halo player, mm-hmm. but I just heard it's a steaming pilot. Yeah, I heard it's like super woke. Yeah. And then everybody was pissed because I guess the dude never took his helmet off, ever. No. And he's already got it off the after whole, the first the season. Whole the whole thing, thing now. The whole show, it's off. There was a funny mm. meme where the, the Halo guy, uh, was it Master Chief Master or Chief. something? He would he took his helmet off and he just had another helmet on <laughs> <laughs> in the game. So, yeah. like, that was the thing. His helmet didn't come off. So. But it I, does in the show. I do get pissed, like, upset when they don't stick to... You know, the format, I'm like, oh, this is, it hurts my soul. Like, then I just got done watching uh, 
a movie or a, a series about a uh, prison in Arkansas that they were they were originally twenty three and one, which means locked down twenty three hours of the day out for one. Yeah, and then they wanted to do an experiment with them, and so they had it like open, and they wanted to see what they would do, how that you know, what would happen, you know, policing themselves basically. Yeah, how'd and, that go? And of course, that you know. You know, the first week, everybody's, you know, oh, yeah, making tattoo ink and, and <laughs> getting taking all the bread crust, making toilet ho- Merlot, making toilet Merlot, making hooch. And they're like, dude, you're not out. You're still in. Right. There's still guards, you morons. And and then, you know, then they get locked down again. It was like yeah. Diddy with the studio. Yeah. <laughs> making, making a band. band. <laughs> so, we'll put you on lockdown now. Now you're out. Then they bring new guys in, and of course the new guys come in, and it's still prison mentality where they instantly get into a fight. Yeah, two other guys get kicked out. It's it was cool. It was I understood what it was, but you just see them just keep shooting themselves in the foot every time. How much money would it take for you to go to jail for a year? That's a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Are my bills covered while I'm in? And no, you got to go to jail for a year. But when you get out, you get this amount of money. Well, then, hmm. what's the amount you think? Uh, Can I go to that jail that I was just talking about, or do I have to be in like solitary for a year? Oh, I'd go insane, Ooh, so it wouldn't know. even matter. I wouldn't be coming out. <laughs> honestly, honestly, five million. I could do solitary for a year. Solitary? Yep. You might turn out crazy. I might get all the crazy out of me. Oh, no. oh you think so? I'll, I'll just start writing. Get it all out of me. I don't know that I could go to jail Dude, for a year. Three hots and a cot? Let's do it. I, should, uh, I don't know. I, have to I be don't. A lot. I can't poop now. Oh, no. I can't imagine having to poop in front That's of That's why I'm people. saying solitary. <laughs> Kayla's on oh, speaking of prison, for a year. I'd be dead. Did you see Danny Masterson already got moved out of the maximum security prison he was in because guys already were trying to? Is he the that '70s show guy? Yep. Okay. And what did he do? He was underage uh, girls or something? Uh, like rape. Okay. Like the old Cosby. Oh, uh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. It's, yeah. Cosby oh, didn't crazy. get so shit. So where are they? Where are they? Danny Masterson's getting life. Yeah, what the hell? Why? Because Cosby's about dead, so they're like, they don't want him stinking. It's Cosby's out. America's dad. Yes. He's America's dad. Okay, well, America's dad, if he's going around raping people. Yeah, he was just partying, you know? It's the 70s. <laughs> putting the it was the 70s. Hey, take take this downer and let me get all in your naughty bits. <laughs> Dirty motherfucker. Yeah, fucking gross. Scumbag. <laughs> so where'd they put Danny? Like where'd they move him? They to? moved him to like a medium, medium, uh, you know, risk security type deal. So he's gonna oh. be. He's basically in the Club Med of California <laughs> prisons yeah. right now. Like the one that Martha Stewart went to and all the. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, Martha. I if forgot I, she did jail time. if I could go away for a year and live like Martha Stewart. Did yeah. in prison? I could definitely do it. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Mm-hmm. Writing cookbooks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you might pick up some things in there. Yeah. Right. How, how to make toilet merlot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. How to make a shank out of a toothbrush? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Real world things here. Yeah. All right. I'm in. I could. Yeah. If I could. Let's go to jail. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> Let's Should go to we? prison. No, oh, Jesus, Mm-mm. which is another great movie. <laughs> no, very funny. Another underrated movie. Oh, there goes Chew. Chewy. Bye, Chew. Thanks for stopping. So, all of you YouTube video watchers, we're gonna play a little game. Every time you see one of the cats, <laughs> you gotta do a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to be hammered. And if you uh, see the cat's old third eye winking at you, Ooh. you gotta finish your drink. Or what's that one? What's that drink that nobody wants? Merlot. Is, it, is that what it is? Or not. Malort? Malort. 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 What is that? It's. Is it um, like Cavassier? It's. They run. Have you read Cavassier? They run 
gutter water through a fermenting process, then filter it through a homeless man's underwear. <laughs> And I was put it in a like, bottle. Really? That's the flavor. Okay. And put it in a bottle. Uh, it's it's like, you know, Jaeger is a uh, herb. It's some kind of herb. Gross. Okay. I've never had it. Either. I have had Cavassier. Cavassier is just Cavassier. Not great. It's not great. I've never had it. I literally took the shot and I went into the bathroom and yeah. I paced back and forth. <laughs> Don't puke, don't puke, don't puke. That was DJ and uh, Big Shots. No, that was at Sly Fox. Oh, was that? Oh, that was Sly Fox. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I didn't puke. Did not. Talk myself out Ugh. of it. I was ready, willing and able. See, that's why some shots I just can't do. They make me want to puke instantly. I can do shots pretty good starting out, but once I get to like my fifth shot, I am like choking it down, ready yeah. to puke. I cannot mm. do a it's, bunch of shots. It's three shots and I'm done. Yeah, like that's the max. Five is my max, pretty much. Like At I can't. Five, I'm gonna puke if I do one more, and I, I will. I physically, I, I physically cannot get the booze down I used to. Like I no. could drink, drink a twelve pack of beer a night, and I'm like, ugh, the last fucking eight. Are going down like bricks. Boy. Chewy. God, this guy is so aggressive. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That was loud. Hey, oh. These fucking cats, man. I tell you. What is your shot of choice if you had to do one? Rumpies. Rumplemans? Mine too. Milady. Not Rumplemans, that's for sure. Honestly, Um, it's because you and I drank some. We kept Rumplemans in business. Throughout For, the mid two yeah. thousands, um, I don't know. I'll do, you know. Kayla's new favorite. You want to tell shots. your new favorite shot? The pickle. Oh, vodka. the pickle shots! I do. I will. I love pickle shots. So good. You, if you haven't Jeffrey, tried, free kick, kick, kick them down. That's so <laughs> gross. <laughs> oh, oh, this the p- cat just comes on my lap, like sits there, oh. doesn't come on it. <laughs> He he sits on my lap and fucking oh. licks my beard, That's cleans so me. Oh. You just lay there while I clean your beard. That's yeah, gross. you like the way my sandpaper tongue rips the hair out of your face. <laughs> That's right, you're my bitch. Yeah, the pickle shots. You're all about. Oh, I it. love pickle shots. It so was good. I I enjoy it, and I can't believe there's alcohol in it because it it just it tastes like, like pickle juice. Pickle juice. Mm-hmm. It did but taste good in a bloody. Yes, it tastes really good in a bloody. But that's my thing is I don't like to be able to taste the alcohol when I take a shot. I don't want to taste it. That's why schnapps was such a kid's drink when we were growing up. Like because you couldn't really taste the alcohol. Like pucker, everybody drank oh, yeah. pucker. Yeah. <laughs> bottles and bottles of pucker. Seventeen dollars for a handle. Nice and cheap. Party all night long. We used to drink one of those to start the night. Before we went to the bars, I get, I get full now from drinking. Yes, like I could keep drinking, and I'm not even that drunk, but I'm like full. Like, That's why I don't drink beer anymore. Because if I have like ten beers, I feel like my gut's just gonna explode. Honestly, I gotta have sweatpants on. Vegas taught me one thing that I can drink those Happy Dads like they're, you know, seltzer waters. And what is the Happy Dad? That's like it's a, a seltzer? it's a malt seltzer basically. So it's a white claw, yeah. For guys, basically, yeah, just not as gay. Yeah, the, it's got a thick <laughs> can. You know what I mean? Yeah, not that, that thin can. Not the that, I want to like can. feel it. It's got in some my girth hand. to yeah. it. Yeah, wouldn't you like that? Also, nice two-handed can. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna put this PSA out there. If you buy non-alcoholic white claw. You're wasting your money. Oh my god! I forgot yeah. we saw those last night at a bar. It, buy LaCroix. Why? Like, why? Buy just the seltzer water, because that's all you're drinking. I don't think any. The, the, it was full. No one's getting them. There's one lady out there going, do you have the non-alcoholic? My liver is shutting down. Do you have the <laughs> non-alcoholic white claw? I can promise the person whose liver is shutting down is not going to ask for a non-alcoholic white claw. Because, well, once they've reached that point. Well, I mean, that that's the greatest story about Lemmy. Went in, got his blood drawn, and it was black. <laughs> They're like, yeah, keep doing whatever you're doing because 
your organs you don't stop. work anymore. Yeah, you probably get to the point where you just have to keep going on the path you're on. Well, it, you think it, once you get your to body a gets used point, to it? Once you get to a certain point. Obviously, your body gets used to shit. Because, like, with weed and stuff or yeah. anything, I mean, you built up a tolerance. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. But, like, the pregnant ladies, pregnant ladies that, you know, are going out with their significant other sitting at the bar probably like mm. let me get one of those yeah, right well i can under, I, I can understand taste so i can understand that mm -hmm. That's just like non-alcoholic beers yeah I, I get it but seriously i'll just get a fucking soda yeah yeah just just get a seltzer water with a lime in yeah it. Mm -hmm. just stay home and let your husband have a good time wow <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Wow. You overbearing <laughs> fat bitch. Get back in the wow. kitchen. <laughs> yes, this is a joke, folks. These are jokes. I These love my jokes. wife. We went out last night and had a good time. We, uh, we almost the town. We almost podcasted last night, but oh, Kayla, yeah. Kayla got mm -hmm. home and just said, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said, I am so fucked up. I'm going to bed. Yeah, and happy uh, 420, everyone. Yes. Hope you had a good day. Hope whoever you were uh, out there safe and enjoying it. Whoever indulged. Oh, I bet the fucking Frisbee golf is was packed <laughs> yesterday. It was, a little, it was pretty windy, but I, I guarantee you they were out there throwing. Oh, I'm some sure. of those stoners out there throwing around Frisbees. They should have like a 420. They don't have a 420 Frisbee golf tournament. I'm sure they do, That man. would be the biggest thing. Just not in Wisconsin. Yet. 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 Yeah. Has I've never played Frisbee golf. I'd like Neither to. Have I. My shoulders are so bad. I'm so worried about just tearing a rotator cuff on the first toss. Yeah. <laughs> How aggressively are you throwing? They, you, you have to huck it. Whip it. It's not a Frisbee. It's like a, it's a weighted disc. Get down. Because when, yeah, when I first learned about Frisbee golf, I thought it was just a regular Frisbee. But yeah. that's a weighted. It's a weighted. Oh. Like that fucking, uh, it's an Olympic sport. Uh, discus. Discus. It's like a rubber discus, but not obviously uh, not as heavy. Yeah. Oh my god! <sighs> Chewy. All right, drink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a direction you can fuck. Yes, please. Yes, you can. Oh boy! Sorry, a little hydration break there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the wet, the wet the lips. Let the wet, little, little wet the lips. Yeah, it was it was a fun night. We. We do those every now and then where we just kind of just relive random, our random youth, fun night. It was fun. bounce around town. And what we've come to learn is uh, Saturday nights aren't the night to go out in Twin Lakes because there's n no one anywhere. It was kind of nice, though. But it was yeah, also it was pretty, pretty early. early. <laughs> like, I asked him this morning. I was like, what time did we get home last night? He goes, I mean, when we went downtown, it was, well, downtown. We live in a village. When we went into the village square, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, it was 930. Yeah, it was so early. We were already and there pretty are already, tuned up. There are people pretty tuned up. Yeah, and we were. Yeah, I was one of them. A couple of them. <laughs> Shout out, Casey. Yeah. Love you, brother. Glad I got you home safe. <laughs> oh, I forgot we saw them. <laughs> it's all coming See? back to me now. Seven flashbacks. It comes in increments. Casey's going to come on the show. He uh, he had some really good takes on some of our questions that we didn't even think of. Yeah. Like, yeah, excited. comment down below. I don't know. Yeah. Comment. Give us some comments. Get in on the, uh, the Get combo. in on the action. Or wait and see us in person. Whatever you want to do. Also, uh, go follow Jeff's Kicks and Canvas, please. Yes. Because yeah. what he's doing. Trying. It's good. Yeah, make it shoes. I like the, shoes. The, I like the, shoes. The next pair is already pretty dope. dope. Yeah, filling up. It's booking up. So pretty pumped about that. I know. Part of me is kind of jealous because like, I want one more pair at least. Well, you get free shoes on because you are my wife. I know, but then, well, for, they're not free. Yeah, you're, you're buying you shoes. Buy them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> unless Nike wants to sponsor us and then we'll take all the Not shoes. after listening to this shit. No, dude. Bonking women on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking them in the Whoa, whoa, whoa. This they still the... support quite a few athletes out there. Hey! Bonk some people on yeah, the head. Okay. I'm sure they do. Wow. <laughs> this is fucking depressing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah, no, but I feel like it's, you know, you've got so many. Shoes already that you're making that I'm like, and now I gotta wait. 
or, or actually any company that has a canvas slash good leather shoe that wants to get yeah bring it out see a little custom work done by our own bring El it Jefe. Out. Bring do it, it. yeah do it grateful shed yep grateful shed not a sponsor but we'll take some free shit i love that place so much can't stop talking about it i've never been one day wow what's going on upstairs jesus I also will we uh, maybe may or may not be emceeing the uh, car show. Car show that'd be fun. When the street dance night? Oh yeah, street dance. Go, don't when get did... Kayla started on this. <laughs> I talked. I talked to Don. Fucking block party yesterday. Yeah, that'd be dope. I host a little, you know, block party. Yeah, fun times. Yeah, yeah. Doing things, you know what I'm saying? We're we're. Getting big in the small town. People are starting to listen to us again. It's kind of nice. People mm. like me. <laughs> and some people don't. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you do. Everyone's uh, hey, got hey, their own opinion. Thank you. Yes. Thank you to him, too. Yeah, well, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. You can finish it. You let them, let them have those. Yeah. We like it. Whatever. Makes me giggle. Yeah, fuck them. It's right. my giggle. All right. You guys want to get in some cards? That's a answer to the internet. Brought to you by Barstool Sports. Brought not a sponsor. By Chewbacca Banana. He was just staring into the camera for a solid like, He's two pretty minutes. majestic. I'm not going to lie. However, would you rather go to heaven or become a ghost on earth after you die? Ooh, I want to be a ghost. You would, you vindictive bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a ghost. I want to chase you motherfuckers Just up the knocking stairs. shit off the counter all the time. No, I want to be that one right behind you on the stairs that you're afraid is coming after you. Is it you. forever? So, like, if I stay on Earth, that's it. I'm here forever. You're a ghost for life. Hmm. I don't know if I'd want to do that. Yeah, because you're watching It's a hard question because I have, else. like, kids, so yeah. I would love to watch my kids grow up and then their kids grow up. And then However, it's like the end of yeah, Star I'm, Wars I'm and you're, dead, standing like, there, you're standing there then your kid's standing next to you. Hey, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> like the end of Star Wars. Yeah. Me and Obi-Wan. Oh. Um, yeah, just I'm just going to heaven. I'm fucking off. I'm hoping for reincarnation. Ooh. Yeah. What would you come back as? If Don't you had care. a choice. Had a choice. Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> a blue one <laughs> with red sneakers. No, I have no idea. I don't know what I want to come back as. What's your spirit animal? If you have, do you have a spirit animal? I have no idea. I think Dave sent a picture of a giant rabbit with a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that his? No. <laughs> but I said that's my spirit animal. A mulleted. Mulleted rabbit. Nice. Okay. All right. You got one? Um, I was thinking about that. I have no idea. Don't they have tests online where you can figure out what your spirit I think so. animal is? I feel like I, I, maybe we'll do that as a. Uh, I would want real one day come back as a, like a, I want to just say lion, but I don't want to be a dude. So lioness, lioness, just go fuck some shit up. I'd really want to be a bird. I'd want to be able to fly. That'd oh. be dope as shit. Maybe a duck. Very versatile animal. Probably the most versatile animal. Swims, flies. flies. Shit's very large on golf courses. Finds Quack. a life mate. Quacks. They like. Yeah, I don't I know. think they find like life mates. Be a quacker. Ducks. I don't know. <laughs> Not a cracker. <laughs> no, a quacker. A quacker. <laughs> I think swans <laughs> mate for life. <laughs> Swan, swans do mate for life. Yeah, I think They're, ducks do too. Uh, There's a lot of rapes in the duck culture. Did you know that? You can look it and up. I think a, a duck's vagina is like a labyrinth. And a duck's dick is fucking huge. Oh, my God. You should Google it. Jeff spends a lot of time looking at animal penises. Well, yeah, duck porn. <laughs> First, we're talking about cat porn. <laughs> now it's duck Je porn. Jeff, do we need an intervention with you, uh, bud? I know you've been home a lot. <laughs> I, I watch Discovery Channel a lot. Mm. And there's a lot, there's a lot of rapes in the duck culture. Wow. Let me tell you. The ducks. Fucking ducks. I tell you. Right. No means no. Yeah. Ducks. No means no. Yeah. But oh cool thing about ducks, though, is they'll take on ducklings. 
if like the mother dies. Yeah. That is really cool. That's cool. All right. Oh. I just saw a video on it. That's why I was like, nice. oh, that's neat. So you don't have one, Sean? No, no idea. Okay. Well, well, you guys call me test. Big Bear all the time. So I mean, it's going to come back as a bear. Just a grizzly. Bear. <laughs> Hopefully the one that finds all that cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine bear. Oh. I wonder. I don't so, think it ended well for that no. bear. No. So, no. so here's the question, too. If life is really a simulation, do you just start back over? Wouldn't that be some shit? Is that why we cry when we come into this world? Because we just remember the no. shit we went through? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Maybe. Do we just reset? Maybe. Reset the, the whole thing? So we'll do this all over again? Yeah. Damn. Maybe it's just the same life and you just figure out new ways to live it. Yeah. yeah. Trying to get better every time? Yeah. So you get the high score, and then can, you go to heaven. Can you tell I just watched that uh, Tom Cruise Edge of Tomorrow movie? Yeah. Where he just keeps coming back and yeah. learning more and that more. That is an awesome movie. Very underrated. Very, yeah, it was. All right. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. If it was acceptable for men to carry purses, what would you carry in your purse? Gun, wallet, phone, keys. Wow, that was quick. Mints. In, yeah, but I carry in, that in my pocket. In Zinskis. <clears throat> but if you could carry a purse, what would you put in it? All would the shit keep... I carry in my pockets, except for my wallet. It's my... going to start getting, it's going to look like the inside of my door. It's going to start getting stuff so shit many that receipts, I don't need. So many receipts that you're... Mm -hmm. Chapstick, bubble gum. I love um... the fact that as a dude, we were programmed to save every receipt of everything that we've ever bought in our lives. Yeah. Like dude, I have a door full like, of receipts from the gas so station. Weird. Like dudes' wallets that are like this thick, and it's all receipts. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing with those? I got something in here from 2016. Why, yeah. why the hell do I still have this? And it makes you depressed when you're like, oh, fucking cheeseburger was $1. <laughs> I can't so keep it. expensive now. Yeah, pretty much the basics, what I, what I keep in my pocket. It just would be nice that they weren't in my pocket, but then I don't want to have to carry a purse. Yeah. It's like when I go somewhere, yeah. and it's a little cold outside, but I know it's going to be warm in there. I just suck it up and freeze for a little bit till I get in there because yeah. I don't want to carry a sweater around. Exactly. Yep. Would you say I had a plethora of sweaters? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could make any two people fight in a no rules cage <laughs> match, who would you choose? Oh. I, I firmly believe that's how <clears throat> all of our elections need to be handled. Cage matches. <laughs> that would be hilarious. All you want to be vice president? Okay, you're gonna fight this guy for vice presidency. Oh, I don't. Man know. versus woman, woman versus woman. Doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. So no, no weight classes either. No weight classes. Well, yeah, it says no, no rules. Can you imagine Trump mm. and Biden just <laughs> swinging? Biden. Just hey, <laughs> what? <laughs> just Did you hear that Shane the... Gillis joke where he talks about. Uh, Joe Biden might be the only president president who could be assassinated <laughs> by punching. being punched. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> punch so assassination. <laughs> yeah, not a strong jaw on that gentleman. No. What are no. you thinking, Ben? Very brittle bones. Also, I told Jeff this. Did you hear the new news that Biden came out with? No, I try not to listen. His to um <laughs> his uncle was a World War II pilot that was shot down over New Guinea. And landing on Cannibal Island and was eaten by cannibals, supposedly. Really? Has that been fact checked? How, yeah. How he would they know said that? that? He said this. How did they know that he landed on that they island? They wouldn't. He clearly was eaten by cannibals. So you yeah. wouldn't even know. That's true. Well, yeah. you have radar back then. I mean, it's not like it was the Wright brothers and <laughs> peddling a plane. <laughs> I guess he's like writing, writing it down on a. Hey, man. I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm lost for words right now. <laughs> it's, it's it was probably a dream Biden. It's had. the book of lies. I I would love to write someone write a book of all the lies that Joe Biden has told. I guarantee it's oh we're on ten thousand pages. I was say we're on chapter like forty two. Yeah, like that one from the seventies no where cares. where he was. I finished first of my class and blah blah blah. They're like, no, he finished at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, he drove. Uh, he drove semis and all kinds. He's just wow. been a world traveler. That, yeah, that clearly. I love Joe Biden. Keep on keeping oh, on, God. Joe. 
Yeah. Keep on keeping on. Keep that fucking applesauce close. <laughs> uh, who do you want to see fight? I don't know. I've been sitting here thinking about that. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I do think that's really good, right? Like future leaders have them duke it out. Just death match. How bad do you want to be president? I don't. Uh, I don't know. I just want to see that. like uh, someone who was like super powerful, but they were like a pussy, but they like talked about like Hitler. Obviously, <laughs> him, he made other people do his dirty work. So I'd want Hitler to get fucking uh, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> yeah, Hitler was a little bitch. Ooh, that, dude, but you got to remember, Hitler was all messed up. Oh, yeah. He was on the, the sauce. He was on definitely on meth. Everybody's like, oh, he had Parkinson's. No, he had the. Fucking meth shakes, dude. Yeah, he was a fucking piece of shit. All right, Hitler and Brock Lesnar. Also, what shares 420 is Hitler's birthday. So for his birthday, him versus Brock Lesnar. Yes. And a Added Frisbee golf. Ju <laughs> juiced up Brock Lesnar. Like, like. Yeah, it's no rules. Like, oh, boy. <laughs> like, like Uberim Brock Lesnar. Yes. Like, yes. All right, oh. that's mine. Yeah, I'd, I have to think about this. Kim Jong un really versus know. Putin. Mm. I think Putin would beat his ass. Oh, for sure. I mean, Kim Jong un did shoot an 18 on an 18 hole golf course. He did. That That is my. Did one he or did he have somebody out there just stories ever. blowing on the ball? To get Wasn't it that in his right first away? time ever golfing? First time ever golfing. Hole in one, every shot. Like it was recorded? Of course. Oh, I'm sure not. it was. <laughs> you can get a lot of stuff out of North Korea, you know. They Yeah, uh-huh. The most famous round of golf ever. Mm. Kim Jong. Shout out to you, sir. An 18. I hope to be I hope to be half the golfer. You that can he inspire. Is. <laughs> Imagine if he had all hole in ones and then that last one, he had a two putt. Son of just oh heartbreaking. God. Just snapping your just snapping your <laughs> your putter. God. God. Now I'm really thinking about this. I don't even know. It's a good one to think about. I can't wait to hear what our, some of our listeners have to say about that one. Yeah. What famous celebrity would you like to see in a death match? Yeah, just put in the comments. Oh. Hitler versus Brock Lesnar. I'm trying to think of like actors or actresses that drive me absolutely fucking nuts. The Kardashians you know really versus a oh. boss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bus yes. going 90 miles an hour. Hey, now. Yes. Hey, now. Come on, Kim. <laughs> Maybe a Tesla. Ooh, those go really fast. <laughs> yeah, be over quick. Oh, they're being pieces. Yeah, no, I gotta think. About I can't that believe one. they're still on TV. My they're mom still asked famous. Me, my mom asked me the other day, "How are they still famous?" I don't know, but we were—I was walking through Walmart after work, and I was on the phone with my mom, and she goes, "Has Kim Kardashian always had fake tits?" <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And she goes. There's this picture of her, and her tits are huge. And I was like, oh, and now I gotta look and yeah, see if sure. she got new tits. She got a fake ass too. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> to be honest, a friend of mine watched the uh, State vs. OJ. Yeah, and she's like, man, there was a. I go, yeah, it was produced by E. Chris Jenner was one of the executive producers on oh. it, so of course, all you're gonna see is the damn Kardashians throughout yeah. the whole thing because Robert Kardashian was the lawyer. Yeah. And all he did was sit in the back and go, hey. I'm just surprised they didn't uh, pay to have them like blurred out in it because they don't look anything like they used to. <laughs> yeah. So they weren't very cute girls. Um, I didn't think Kim was that bad. I thought Kim was pretty good looking back then. Courtney was always Kim? the best looking one out of yeah. them. Yeah. Chloe just, Jesus Christ. She might be OJ's daughter. Let's move on. I wouldn't, you? He's got All his right. hands. Who's going next? You Big are. Bear. Wrong. I read that one. <laughs> Wrong card. Get sloppy. Which is which group is worse? People who clap at the end of movies, or people who clap when the plane lands? When the plane oh, lands. When the plane lands, that annoys me. <laughs> like at a premiere, yes, clap at the movie. Yeah. Other, if, otherwise, no. No. If it's fucking been in the theaters for three months and you're clapping. Yeah, yeah. if you're going to see Rad's yeah. 25th anniversary, you're not clapping at the end of that movie. You've seen it. No. We even, like, I'm, 
I'm trying to think of a movie that I saw at the theater that was really good. Anyway, I don't care how good it was. If it's right. been out for... I've been to a premiere. It was fun. It was cool. Yeah. Like, standing in line. It's fucking midnight. Yeah. And people clapped and shit at the end. Like, that's a cool, fun experience. Yeah. yeah. But if it's three months later... Yeah, if you're going to see, you know, Harry Potter for the fifth time, don't clap at the end of the damn <laughs> yeah. movie. Well, clearly they love Harry Potter. And the only way I'm time. clapping if at the end of a plane landing is if we blow an engine and somehow we land down perfectly, then I'm going to clap. Yeah, uh, then I'm if gonna something clap. fucked up and he saved us. Yeah. For sure. Like who's Sully? Yeah. I'm clapping. Yeah. And Give, I'm, I'm giving that clean. dude a high five. And then, <laughs> I'm changing my underwear. Yeah. Then I'm, While I'm clapping. <laughs> Then I'm duck walking to the nearest bathroom to wash my skivvies in the sink. Oh, oh my turn. No, I was like, you why didn't you answer. Like, yes, I did. Oh, okay. Oh, she said plain. I said plain because, yeah, why are we clapping? Why? Because we, we survived. Yeah. Together. People wear red That's socks, fun. right, when they fly? Isn't that a thing? Red socks? They wear red socks when they fly. It's like good luck. Oh, have you not heard of this? No. I always tap the plane twice getting on. Like when you get right when you before you get on, I always yeah, just smack its like ass a, weird a little tick. bit. Well, it's just you know, hey, it, I've done it since the first time I've ever got on a plane. So I'll I'm, be gentle. I'm here. And for basically, you. the first time I got on a plane, I just tap it by myself, not like family wise. But I was just like, just get me there safe. Hey man, whatever works. Okay. Never had really bad turbulence on a flight. Yeah, I've had all my flights have been pretty mellow. That's I mean, good. been on cruises where it was like, you see sky, then you see water, <laughs> then you see sky, then you see water. Yeah, no, been on one cruise and it was a fine experience. I don't, I'm fine never doing a cruise again. Yeah, I don't know if I ever want to do a cruise. It depends on where it's going. Just Penelope, I'd do that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you ready? <laughs> see, biscuit. <laughs> If you were in an open field with an aluminum baseball bat. Yep. I could take out so many 10-year-olds. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did we do this one before? And I just don't remember. Yeah. All right. Well. I could murder a bunch of 10-year-olds. How many 10-year-olds with bike helmets could you take down? Oh, bike helmets. Yeah. And, and, oh, dude, you're, think about it, though. You're, you're going to get tired out after about three, four. Some of these 10-year-olds now are big. Yeah. Oh, yes, they are. Yeah. And I they're rabid. Yeah, I see some of these 10 year olds. But let's be honest. They'll be blinded from the sun because they don't see it very much. (laughs) They'll be overweight and slow. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. I don't know. Maybe 25. I don't know. I'm also like not in shape. So. Yeah, but you you get the old you get the old person adrenaline. (laughs) You know, when you when you hit a kid when you hit a kid now compared to when you hit a kid 10 years ago. You hit them a lot. You you don't hit them as hard, but you are more accurate with your shots. I don't. I guess I don't go around <laughs> around you, it and kids often. I but. smacked the shit out of everybody's kid. I walked down the street and do it. <laughs> yeah, maybe um, 20, 25. Yeah. All right. Also, it depends on if I got do I got batting gloves on or am I bare sure. hand in it? I don't know. It just says you're in an open field. All right. So yeah, gloves, gloves, batting gloves. Oh yeah, 25. 25 is a doable goal. All right. <laughs> and you don't know these kids, right? No, they're not your nieces and nephews. Okay. Or, or they're the kids. worst kids you've ever met. Oh, dude, then I can I can go all adrenaline. <laughs> I will sing the whole time I'm doing it. <laughs> when the mood hits you, I like the baby. <laughs> I just want some more. Dancing in the field. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. Just, just pointing yes. at them. Calling them out right before you do it. Clink. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's nothing better than the sound of an aluminum bat hitting Just something. <laughs> Pink. Pink. Oh, my God. We used, just hit, we used to just hit rocks with an aluminum bat as a kid. You throw up a rock. Ting. Ting. Do you remember taking yeah. matchbox cars and, like, giving them damage with, like, a hammer? Like, you're banging, like, the fender. Like, they're getting, like, so then they're bumping and stuff. I used I to make so. I used to make like realist and like my matchbox cars realistic. Now it's I'm like, like they crashed and yeah. shit. Now I'm like, fuck those matchbox cars are like <laughs> probably worth like hundred dollars a piece right now. All you kids listening, hold on to your shit. It's everything I had a kid is worth. 
Mm-hmm. Fuck ton of money. Yeah. My turn? Yep. Your turn. Okay. Would you let your wife fuck you once with a strap on or take her last name when you get married? <laughs> I feel like, did we do this or just read that out loud before? I think this was one of those when we first got the box and we're just reading the oh, yeah. box. Uh, I'll let you bang me. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking one for the team. I know I tried to get, I tried to convince him. I'm like, come on, take to my what? last name. Get fucked. No. <laughs> yeah. To take my last name. No. I was like, come on. Come on, baby. No, he's still. hard to get my last name. Did you get plugged? Plugged, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm the last one of my name. Oh. Mm, yeah, so you got to keep the tradition. I would have to keep the tradition. It's dying with me, motherfuckers, unless <laughs> something miraculous happens. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? You gotta try. You gotta go. You gotta get on the get horse the, and just bang it. Get, get. <laughs> Bro, I went out in this town last night, bud. <laughs> well, maybe get out of this yeah, yeah. this town. Yeah, you gotta venture out. Fish in a barrel. Yeah. That, that fish yeah. may be the three eyed fish from The Simpsons. <laughs> That's a big tuna. With a drinking problem and <laughs> six a kids big already. Tuna. Oh. Yeah, but I love, but I love my town. <laughs> I really, I, 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 I shit on my town because I love my town. That's good. Can that I have some sense. of your drink? Wow, we're married now. What's yours? Is mine. <laughs> it just means Jeff's getting anal tonight. Oh, bab. Oh, that's good. I know. Did it take you to Flavor Town, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> I just did. I think the Guy Fieri or Fiero. I we need to see Guy Fieri in a Fiero. I don't think the universe, I think the universe would stop spinning <laughs> if Guy Fieri pulled up in a Fiero. Ooh, the Fiero from That's My Boy with the giant Rush logo on the hood. Yeah, and it's got to have flames on it to match his T-shirt mm-hmm. and glasses. All right, I'm in. Come on, Guy. Get out. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Flavor Town. <laughs> I think I think the drill the grill sergeant's a better episode. Oh, to watch. way better, way better for sure. So you haven't watched anything else, huh? No, I just started uh, Fallout. Um, I started Constellation, and um, there's one other one I started. That was not my cup of tea. I started Warrior. Warrior's good. I like that a lot. Yeah, I got to finish that. That's what I'm saying. I start things and then. I see something else that I like, and I start that. I got a little bit of good news. Uh, fingers crossed. Heels. They might uh, put that on uh, Netflix. Oh, that's the wrestling? For a third season. Really good. All right. Surprisingly good. Surprisingly? Surprisingly good. Why is it surprising? Because normally when they do like wrestling shows and shit, mm-hmm. it's always super cheese ball kayfabe and this one's just turned up yeah too high this is no this is like uh no they don't they don't give you the inner workings like oh you're going over tonight okay there's no not enough behind the scenes yeah i like that one was that one on uh netflix the wrestling one oh yeah from uh what was that one called the wrestler the movie that we watched wasn't it it was like the wrestlers was it the wrestlers? Yeah, I don't know. Just, anyway, it was that was pretty good. They were down I didn't in mind it. OVW. Yeah. With Al Snow. Was that the movie? No, no it was the show. It's not the movie. It was mm-hmm. Mickey Rourke. That it, was also good though. That was very good. That was very close. A lot of guys said that's very close to what happened to a lot of guys. Yeah. Well, I'm sure. When the start of ends and you live in a van. Mm. Well, flame burns hot. Goes out quick. Only takes one fuck up. Yeah. Then the world looks at you like a jackass. <laughs> yep. Chewbacca. What a Wookiee. All right. Uh, may not be the best one we've ever done. But we're doing it. But we're doing it because you guys like to listen to it. Hopefully you're still awake. <laughs> Or this gave you a good nap. Yeah, I mean. Whatever. Sleep better. Chewy <laughs> says bar. <laughs> Chewy, I tell you. Nick.
cat cage for these fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. So next week we will be back with another episode. May have guests, may not. May just be us. And the cats. <laughs> for Jeff. For Kayla. I am Sean. We'll see you again next week back here in the Gentleman's Den. Later.